Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of 911 Operator. Now, I've been playing this game off camera, and I finally unlocked Chicago. It's been taking me forever to slowly rank up and unlock these new cities. Chicago is known as one of America's most dangerous cities. I'm about to dive right in and see if we can get a perfect run. So if you guys are down with that and you're cool with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. It seems like Chicago is not that big. There's a lot of water on the right side. And there doesn't seem like there's that much to cover, but we have an incident already. Flu-like symptoms. The person is feeling ill symptoms indicate flu disease. Okay, so we are gonna send the nearest- Wait, I have a helicopter already? What? I got a helicopter? I did not know I had that. That is so cool. That makes me super happy. I did not unlock that. Okay, we have a phone call. 911, what's your emergency? I'm happy about the helicopter. That made my day. strange car parked here. Oh, really? What's concerning about it? So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? Private cars are not allowed to park here. Why is that, sir? It's for safety bitching. reasons. Maybe I'm overreacting, but could you send the police to check it? Yeah, I think you're overreacting, but give me the address. Can you give me the address of where this car is parked, sir? All right, I got you. Yes, of course. I'll send the police to check the car. Thank you. Bye. Bye. It's not really a big deal, so I'm going to send the motorcycle over there. It's going to be a quick little checkup. And we have a beating. Person has been beaten by a group of thugs. They need police and they need medical assistance. So let me send a police car because I'm pretty sure the thugs are still in the area. Then I'll send the medical car. I didn't know that certain cars can handle situations faster. But now I know. So uh, we can have a perfect run. Chemical hazard. Spilled chemical substances reported. Might be a danger for traffic and people. Okay, let's send the fire truck over there. And let's answer this call. What's, what's your up? Emergency? I don't have an emergency, but I'm making a computer game about your work, and uh, I'd like to possibly talk fuck? for a moment. Uh, sir. Is that the creator of the game? Sir, do you have an emergency? Okay, call the office. No. no. Call the office. Uh, sir, you, you should contact the emergency services department with your Send case. Send the fire truck over okay. here, too. How can I reach it? Please visit the department's website, post a request to meet with the dispatchers. Okay, uh, can I ask for your name so I can... Put it in the request. What the uh, sorry, fuck? but you cannot. Please do not block the line. Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks and bye. Wow, that was so freaking random. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the creator of the game. And we resolved that situation. Cool. So, so far, we have everything settled. Let's fast forward a little bit so we can take care of these fire hazards. Red light offense. A car was reported driving through a red light. Let's send the motorcycle since it can catch up to it pretty quick. And did we touch base on every situation? Yeah, we did. Let's see what happened with the guy asking about the video game stuff. It'll be resolved quick. Okay, that's cool. And there's an ambulance right here next to the heart attack person. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need some help. What's Is this the problem, little girl? With guy? Oh, it's with a guy. With my mouth. With my what? With your mouth? With your math? Where do you live, little guy? Well, where do you live, little guy? Oh, with my math. Your math? I'm not gonna fucking help you with math. I'm not even good at math. Yeah, where do you yeah, live? Yeah, I know. Why are we asking a little kid math, where he lives? But where do you live? No, I want you to talk to me on the phone. Is your mom or dad nearby? Is your mom or dad nearby? Yeah, but she's busy. What's she doing? No, I can't do that, but I can send someone. Really? We're gonna send somebody to help this little uh, brat handle a math problem? You know what? Fine. No, I can't do that, but I can send someone else to help you. Okay, um... So what kind of math do you what have is this, that the you need help with? the police or Sesame Street? I have takeaways. Ah, you have to do the takeaways. Yeah. All right, what's the math? What the okay, fuck is going on? Yeah. Takeaway seven. Mm-hmm. Is what? That's ten. That's As in ten, ten seconds to okay. hang up this phone, or yeah. I'm going to send what's the police to arrest your little ass. Tough. Oh, sir, what are you doing? The policeman is helping me with math. What did I tell you about sending on the phone? How did he know how to call 911? That's the craziest part. Yeah, but I Let's send this ambulance over here while we wait. Hello? I'm sorry. Yeah, hey, what's no up, baby? No problem, ma'am. Is everything all right there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll tell him to stay on the phone. <laughs> it's all right, ma'am. Just make sure he's not afraid to make a 911 call in the future, okay? Of course. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? Because here we have a problem. Okay. Please tell me what happened. Excuse Ooh. me? Uh, what do you mean, sir? Man on a, a road. He 
gick inte de rode är stabbt on on road. Who the fuck is that in the background? What's that address? Where are you calling from, sir? We are in this broken building. That doesn't tell me anything, sir. Uh, where is it exactly? Where is it exactly? Old factory at. Is he conscious? Is he conscious? Pretty sure he's not. I think he is. I mean, I do not know. Well, he he's heavy breathing. Mm. Okay, is he moving? I can just imagine he a man being a impaled by a rod with in my head. The hands on the, the sides. Is he bleeding so the victim can't move? Is he bleeding? Listen, listen, is is he bleeding? No, no. He is stuck on oh. the road. The road is strong. Okay, let me send an ambulance and, and let me send a police car over there. This road. We cannot move him. So the victim can't move. Don't move him. Don't move him. Because if you move him, he's going to start bleeding. The rod is stopping the bleeding. Don't move him. No, no. Don't Please move don't. him. You could make Ugh, his injuries worse. As long heat as he's breathing, he's okay. Just <laughs> wait for the ambulance to get there. So, so we can go, right? Hell no. Uh, you're going to wait. Please wait for the ambulance to get there, okay? And if his condition gets worse, I want you to call 911 again. Uh, okay, okay. Ugh. <sighs> Man, do you guys remember that I did a Reddit 50-50 challenge? I remember there was a man impaled by a rod, or he was impaled by something. Ah, <sighs> oh, so gross, I don't even want to think about it. Speeding, a car was reported speeding. Not on my watch. I got my motorcycle, he's gonna go ZOOM! And he's gonna give that bitch a ticket. Pickpocket, a woman's bag has been stolen. Suspect is running. What a pussy boy, running and stealing from a woman? How could you? Building on fire. There's a fire in a large building. It's possible people are trapped inside. Well, let me send this fire truck over here. And let me send the ambulance up here as well. And let's see what happened with the man who's impaled by the rod. Well, we got a new phone call. 911, what's your emergency? So we'll check on it in a bit. Hello? There's an unconscious man here on the pavement. Well, I've had two previous episodes to deal with an unconscious man. So, did you see him pass did out? Did you see him pass out? He might be drunk. Huh. Is it possible he's drunk? Is it possible he's drunk? Does his breath smell yeah, he smells like hell. Completely drunk. Is he breathing though? Is he breathing? Wait a second. Oh god, he's not breathing. Okay, I got you, I got you. Do you know how to perform CPR? Do you know how to perform CPR? Yes, I'm on it. Great. Continue until the ambulance arrives. Okay, hurry. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. But you didn't even tell me the address. Now I gotta find it with my high-tech 911 operator mumbo-jumbo. Uh, I should have asked for the address, guys. We're done here. Are all my ambulances checking up on stuff? Let's see the impaled rod guy. We have Andres Nawak, the caller. We have Janus Kowalski. We have the impaled cyclist. Ah, uh, he's blocked by an obstacle. And I guess we're trying to take out the rod. We need all three. This is the triple dipper. Okay, we're gonna handle that. We're gonna make sure the impaled rod guy is gonna make it out successfully. 911, what's your emergency? So, I chopped my leg off. Jesus! You chopped off your leg? I, I, I held my cousin in the workshop, pushed wood with my leg, and slipped, and slipped into the press. I, I, I Chicago can't doesn't fuck Please around. Help. These guys are getting impaled by rods, chopping their legs off, asking for math help. Is your cousin nearby? Where are you calling from? Oh, okay. I need to know. Where are you calling from? At... Is your cousin nearby? Do you have something to tie around your leg? Is that a house or apartment? That doesn't even matter. Do you have something to tie around oh, your leg? Do you have something to tie around your leg? No, just, just some tools. And an axe and a hammer. Alright, take off your shirts. Calm him down. Good. He might be I like, know this won't be easy, but <laughs> so I need you to calm calmly him down. breathe. Relax. The ambulance will arrive soon. God, I, I... I think I'm passing out. No, don't die on me, buddy. Don't you do it to me, buddy. Help is on the way. All right, take off your shirt. No, you're not. Keep talking to me. Tell me, do you have a girlfriend? No, you're not. Keep talking you know, to me. No, are you single? Tell you me. You cute? Uh, do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, I, I have a fiancé. We were, we were going to get married in two months. No, not we were. We are going to get married. Stay on the phone with me, Jimmy boy. Oh, 
God. You're gonna be fine. I need you to stay awake. You're gonna be fine. I'm already sending an ambulance, awake. by the way. Please tell her that I loved her, okay, will you? As if, if I pass away here, say that I thought about her. I beg you, you promise? Don't talk to me like that. Yes, I promise, but you will tell her yourself. The ambulance is almost there. But listen, yes. you're gonna tell her yourself, okay? The ambulance is almost there. What the fuck? Oh, shit! I'm gonna fast forward time! That is not cool! The guy who chopped off his leg, he's right here in the middle. I'm sending an ambulance, please. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. 911, what's your shit. emergency? We gotta take this call. Uh, yeah, hello. Um, there is a fight out in the street. Can you please send the police quickly? How many of them are there? Is anybody injured? Is anybody injured? Oh my! One of them just fell down. He's not moving. Check him. Could you check his medical condition? I prefer not to go there. It might be dangerous. All right. Uh, convince her? No, she might get her ass whooped too. Send an ambulance. Of course, ma'am. Uh, your own safety is the most important. I'll send the ambulance and the police immediately. Thank you. Bye. Okay, what happened with the guy? Well, we'll see at the end if we actually resolve that situation, but I feel like we did because we sent an ambulance right away. So let me send a police car over there. Wow, there's a lot of shit going on, guys. There is so much stuff going on. My mind is like... Okay, last situation, which happens to be a fire one again. It'll be resolved in 500 plus seconds. I'm really curious to see if we solve the wood chipper one because it just disappeared off the map completely after that one phone call that I had. But now the fire situation is resolved, so let's see how we did. Okay, so I did resolve the impaled cyclist, the guy who was impaled by the rod, and the guy who clipped his leg, I resolved that as well. But I got a minus 9 on sharp tool injury, and I also got a minus 32. Holy shit, On this crime organization. That is not cool. And a whole bunch of my guys are heavily injured and died. Chicago does not fuck around. I am going to try this one more time because you can't go out like that. You can't go out with failed missions. I didn't really fail because I guess if you do fail, you get fired. But I didn't do as well that I'd hoped. So we're going to do this one more time. And I have $56,000. So let me see. I have to fill unit four with people. So let's get some staff. Let me get this guy. His driving is 95%. So you go there, and Ryan Rivera, you're going to go with him. You're going to be his partner, and, oh, I need new firefighters. Okay, Martin Nader, blah, 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 blah. You're going to go right here. 911, what's your emergency? Papa, there's a bat in my apartment. A bat? Holy shit, I'm scared of bats too. What's your address? What's your address? I'd be freaking out if I was a cop. Open a window, hide yourself. Okay, I will send you some help. Just stay there, please. Open a window! Ma'am, you can help Probably yourself must here. Have Just leave. open a window wide and turn off the lights. Before you know it, the battle be gone. No way am I coming out of here. You have to. So what do you want me to do? Send Batman? <laughs> Alright, let's fuck with this girl. So, what do you want me to do? Send <laughs> Batman? I don't care whom you send. Just send someone. <laughs> okay, I will send some help. Just stay there, please. Let's tell her that she has to. You have to. I'm not going to send an officer over there. Your life's not in danger. It's not even an emergency. It's a bat in your house. <laughs> Please. I'm not going to lie. I would be doing the same thing as the girl, crying and everything. You can do it, ma'am. Just be careful, okay? You can do it, ma'am. Yeah. Just, just be careful, okay? You got this. Oh, I can't. I really can't. You know what? I'm not going to be a dick. Hello? We'll send somebody. Okay, I'll send somebody to help. Just stay there, please. Don't worry, I got you. Just wanted to have some fun. But you know what? I'd be doing the same thing. If I saw a bat in my house, I'd probably like hide in a room somewhere and never come out till the bat's gone. But we're resolving every situation so far. High five, guys. I think we're doing pretty good. I need a fire truck in order to get the bat out of there? What kind of bat is this? I'm Batman. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? I what? hear loud noises from the neighboring flat. Who needs backup? Can you send somebody to check it? Uh, what's going on? Do you know what's happening at your neighbor's place? The TV is very loud. Do you know who lives there? Do you hear anything else? Do you know who lives there? Do you know who lives there? A family with two children. Hmm, how often does it happen? Are they loud like this all the time, or is this an exception? No, they have little children, so normally they're really quiet during the night. Hmm, that's pretty disturbing then. What's the address? What's the address you're calling from? My house is at... 
Is there anything suspicious? Have you seen anybody suspicious in your neighborhood lately? Well, maybe. A few hours ago. My intercom was ringing, but when I answered, nobody said anything. That's are pretty you sure bad that your neighbors are home? Oh my god. Do you think somebody else might be there? Maybe. They don't go out a lot because of their little children. Well, I'm going to send some police. I'll send the police to check on it. Thank you. I'll be waiting at my place. You're Bye. so very welcome. <laughs> I don't think that sounds normal. A family that has two children, they probably turned up the TV so they won't hear any noises that they're trying to make. Maybe it's some people trying to rob a house or something. Or maybe I just watched too many crime shows. So let's see what happened with that neighbor and their TV being loud. Is there anybody there? There's the caller. Aggressive man with a gun. I knew it. Burglar. Father blocked by aggressive man with a gun. Mother. Scared child. Oh man, so the guy has them hostage. That's so fucked up. Okay, I need to send back up because this is all bad. Let's send them here. Medical over here. Send everybody over here because this situation is completely scary. No, 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 no. What's God, wrong? there's so much stuff going Help! on. My kitchen is on fire. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? <laughs> What's on fire? Send firefighters. What's on fire? What's first? on fire? The counter. I accidentally threw a cloth on the burner, and the fire spreads quickly. Oh goodness. Do you have a fire extinguisher? Okay. Do you have a fire extinguisher? No. Of course. Cover with a damp towel. Okay. I want you to stay calm. Carefully cover the fire with a damp towel. It didn't help. What should I do? What? Okay. What do you mean it didn't Get help? You probably didn't even do it. That was too quick. Out of the house now. The fire department will be there soon. Okay. There's just too much stuff going on, guys. But I think I resolved pretty much every situation. The burglar situation is not being handled yet. Why not? The father died. What? How did the father die? I sent two police cars that way. No way he died. Man, he probably died like of shock or something because I sent so much police over there. Oh, I need medical transport for the burglar. That's kind of weird. I'm going to send the helicopter in there. Okay, there you go. So let's see how I did. I feel like I did worse this time. Suspicious person, minus 12. Trapped in elevator, I resolved that. Speeding, I got negative 3 on that. Unconscious person, loud neighbors resolved, minus 5. Did I not get it resolved? I guess I didn't get this one resolved because the father died. But anyway, guys, that was Chicago. Pretty crazy. There was a lot of calls. There was a lot of fires. There was a lot of crime. A lot of people getting, like, their body parts cut off by machinery or something. I don't know if that's a Chicago thing, but I don't know. They seem to be doing all kind of crazy shit over in Chicago. If you guys want to see me take on any of the other cities like San Francisco, New York, or Washington, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!